Good evening and welcome to evening prayer. So let us prepare our hearts before the Lord and give him thanks and praise for all he has done. So, O oh God, make speed to save us, and O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living will, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. This evening's psalm is Psalm 78. How often they rebelled against him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. Again and again they tempted God and provoked the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power in the day when he redeemed them from the enemy. How he wrought his signs in Egypt and his wonders in the field of Zoan. He turned their rivers into blood and so they could not drink their streams. He sent swarms of flies among them which devoured them and their frogs which brought them ruin. He gave their produce to the caterpillar and the fruit of their toil to the locusts. He destroyed their vines with hailstones and their sycamore trees with the frost. He delivered their cattle to the hailstones and their flocks to the thunderbolts. He set, them, he set loose on them his blazing anger, fury, displeasure and trouble, a troop of destroying angels. He made a way for his anger and spared not their souls from death. He gave their life over to the pestilence. He smote the firstborn of Egypt, the first fruits of their strength in the tents of Ham. But he led out his people like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. He led them to safety and they were not afraid, but the seas overwhelmed their enemies. He brought them to his holy place, the mountain which his right hand took in possession. He drove out the nations before them and shared out to them their inheritance. He settled the tri tribes of Israel in their tents. Yet they still tested God most high and rebelled against him and would not keep his commandments. They turned back and fell away like their forebears, start, starting aside like an unstrung bow. They grieved him with their hill altars and provoked him with, to displeasure with their idols. God heard and was greatly angered and utterly rejected himself, uh, re rejected Israel. He forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent of his presence on earth. He gave the ark of his strength into captivity, his splendour into the adversary's hand. He delivered his people to the sword and raged against their inheritance. The fire consumed their young men, and there was no one to lament of their maidens. Their priests fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. Then the Lord woke as out of sleep, like a warrior who had been overcome with wine. He struck his enemies from behind and put them to perpetual shame. He rejected the tent of Joseph and chose not the tribe of Ephraim, but he chose the tribe of Judah and the hill of Zion which he loved. And there he built his sanctuary like the heights of heaven, like the earth which he founded forever. He chose David also his servant, and took away from the shep and took him away from the sheepfolds. From following the ewes with their lambs he took him, that he may shepherd Jacob his people and Israel in his inheritance. So he shepherded them with a devoted heart, and with skilful hands he guided them. O tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord. God, our shepherd, in our wanderings and temptations, teach us to rest in your mercy and trust in your defence. Through him who laid down his life for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. So glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. 
Amen. The canticle for tonight is taken from Revelation 15. Great and wonderful are your deeds, the Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O ruler of nations, who shall not revere and praise your name, O Lord, for you alone are holy. All the nations shall come to worship in your presence, for your, your just dealings have been revealed. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessings and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. All nations shall come to worship you, O Christ, and share in the feast of your kingdom. The scripture reading tonight is taken from Acts 4, verses 32 to uh, chapter 5, verse 11. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, as for many as owned land and houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what they sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as had need. There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, who gave, who the apostles gave the name Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He sold a field that belonged to him, then brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. But a man named Ananias, with the consent of his wife, sold a piece of property with his wife's knowledge, he kept back some of the proceeds and brought only a part and laid it at the apostles' feet. Ananias, Peter asks, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the proceeds of the land? While it remains unsold, did it not remain your own? After it was sold, were not the proceeds at your disposal? How is it you have contrived this deed in your heart? You did not lie to us, but to God. Now when Ananias heard these words, he fell down and died. And a great fear seized all who heard of it. The young men came and wrapped up his body and then carried him out and buried him. After an interval of about three hours, his wife came in. Not knowing what had happened, he said, Peter said to her, Tell me whether you and your husband sold the land for such and such a price. And she said, Yes, that was the price. Then Peter said to her, How is it that you have agreed together to put the Holy the Spirit of the Lord to the test? Look, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out. Immediately she fell down and she died. When the young, young men came out and found her dead, so they carried her out and buried her beside her husband. And a great fear seized the whole church and all who heard of these things. The Gospel Canticle My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in my God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day forward, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. Now we come to the time of our intercessions. So with one heart together, let us lift our thoughts and prayers to the Lord. Let us pray. Lord God, we pray for peace for our brothers and sisters in Christ who are suffering for their faith. Lord, bring your power and presence amongst them and a renewing of your spirit. We look to the day when all can worship together and speak your name without fear. Lord, 
in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who are closest to us and are still to know your love and forgiveness. As they sleep, pour your spirit upon them to bring a revelation of who you are. Lord, may we always have courage to speak about you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as we end another day, we thank you for the mercies, blessings and strength you have provided. We pray for all those things on our mind, Lord, those situations which trouble our warriors. And as we lay them down before you, as we fall into night's sleep, we ask for your peace and certainty that you have all these things in hand. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the clap for today is, let your merciful ears, O Lord, be open to the prayers of your humble servants, that and that they may obtain the, their petitions Make them to us such things as shall please you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. As we conclude our prayers for this evening, let us think of one another, our friends and our family, as we say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a lovely evening and I hope to see you all soon in church. <laughs>